All right, guys, it is Pawn Factor. We are back with another green white value town game. We're just going to jump into a little like funzy friendly lobby game. Hopefully, we actually get something, uh, you know, decently competitive. So, let's jump in here. <clears throat> Could go over the deck list while I'm at it. Um, pretty standard stuff. Three voices, a couple scuses. Went down from three scuses. Um, two Ramanops. I have an Azusa in the sideboard. Um, the sideboard's the most interesting thing. Woo! Jumped into a game. I basically have now two Eldritch Evolutions where I am uh, running some Silver Bullet kind of creature hate. All right, let's see here. This is a pretty perfect hand. Um... Let's go ahead and keep it. Razor Birch Thicket, huh? Noble. I will see your noble and raise you a bird. Okay, so next turn. See if he's playing red. Highly doubt it. I would love to get knight going. Okay. Is he gonna push? Devoted druid. All right. We can't let that devoted druid untap. So. As much as I would love to. Let's go ahead and play this tapped. And we're going to go ahead and path on his upkeep. Definitely can't let that happen. So next turn we can company or we can get out a knight. Why don't we get out? Let's get out a knight here. Do we want to get out a knight or do we want a Coco? Yeah, let's get out a knight. Good old little 3-3. Three, three. I was debating, too, on getting out the Courser there. What do we got? Cord? So he Coco's. See, so just... Fizzier. There it is. All right, let's see if he has a payoff. Got to make sure he has a payoff in his hand. So sideboard. Linvala. Mind sensor. It's actually quite a few things we could... Um, we could have here. What's he grabbing? Dusquatch. All right, that's fine. I've seen enough. I like. I. I'm not gonna make him <clears throat> click through this. So let's see if we can shut down what he's trying to do. Is idle on a rhetoric good here? <laughs> Actually, might be. Linvala, Outer Evolutions, Engineered Explosives. So let's take out Voice of Resurgence, Ramanop. 
Scavenging News doesn't really do much, right? Night of Autumn. Night of Autumn can hit... Ball I mean, he's not going to play Ballista until... Until he actually has the combo. So Night of Autumn might be okay to cut. Is it Night of Autumn or is it Scavenging News? Probably we want to keep Skews in in case he has a way like he has Eternal Witness. So why don't we go ahead and cut Night of Autumn. Try it like that. Surgical Extraction might not have been atrocious. So this is a great hand. But we don't have a way of interacting with him. So Mulligan. I think this is probably a little bit better. Coco on top. Sure. <clears throat> play that tapped. Next turn, we're going to play out EE on two. All right, let's see if he has a fast start. Doesn't look like it. Draw Coco. E on two. All right, so let's get out Courser to start controlling the top of our deck. There's a bird. I think we're okay to play out something for another turn. So what are we going to draw here? A knight. So next turn we can play out a bird. Make sure I'm recording. Where I am. So next turn we can play out a bird and plan on... So you're just going to play Coco here. No tracker. Okay. I'm... Ba, 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 ba. So there's a path. Let's just play out a bird and hold up. Hold up EE -E on two. And then next turn we can Eldritch Evolution the bird if we have to. Yeah, let's just go ahead and play this slow. Do we want to swing in? I don't think it matters. He's not going to trade. It's it's a free two damage. I mean, we're not going to block, so I guess we're going to take three in return, but I don't think our life total matters too much. We also have a courser out. Fine. Voice. Okay. So let's go ahead and play Gavin off the top. <clears throat> so we want to hold up two mana. I don't think holding up a path is enough. Two, three. We could play out a knight. It's only a two, two though. So 
So let's let's evolution. Our bird. All right, so what do we want here? Do we want an, I think we want an Avon mind sensor. And let's just go ahead and pass turn here. I guess we could probably swing hill block at a 3 3. You know, let's just pass turn. Although, if we path, we're going to give him a token, which is kind of rough. I was gonna say we'll definitely kill the voice. Let's go ahead and take four. Path. Okay, that's unfortunate. Two, three, four, five mana. So, It's Coco. Knight and Eidolon is good. Linval is fantastic. Linvala would be super good here. So I don't want to get rid of, I don't want to shuffle Linvala away, but obviously if I have to path, I have to path. But he could like, if he doesn't have Collected Company and he only has Cord, he can only cast one spell. So let's see what he's going to cast, because if we can draw Linvala, okay, so Devoted Druid, so he can't cast anything else because of Eidolon. Okay, so let's draw Linvala. Let's shock this in.
My daughter's here. She's not feeling too good. She's a little sore throat. Huh, sweetie? Who is? You. You're not feeling good. Why don't you go watch some Peppa and Daddy will be right out. Can I get a snack? Yeah, I'll get you a snack in one minute, okay? Okay. I love you. Okay. So, Linvala apparently was enough. So, that is the secret to... I wonder why he just didn't play to a path. That's weird. So, Skews might not be as good as, like, voice here. All right, so ideally mm -hmm. we're getting rid of... Mm -hmm. Actually, do I want a, another two drop? Now let's keep Eternal Witness for, let's keep Eternal Witness in. Eidolon was actually good there though. So there's a mind sensor. This isn't the greatest thing in the world, but uh, looks like he has a pretty quick start as well. There's an EE, so it's kind of good. So we can EE on two and play out another Noble. take it is that what we want to do here or do we want to even mind sensor because the thing is like okay the thing is if he has collected company if we crack engineer explosives he's going to just be able to combo off over it but if we cast mind sensor I think our best bet is actually casting mind sensor here oh, it has flash I forgot it has flash ah why am I why am I main phasing that? I haven't played that much with this card. Why did I just main phase that? Why didn't I do it when he went to crack? That was dumb. Dumb 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 punt. Hence the name. So here's a Coco probably. So if he just hits the combo he wins. If he hits one of the p oh, there's a ballista on too, huh? Okay. <sighs> I'm not going to lie, I don't think we're going to be able to do it. So what happens if I EE... What happens if I EE -E on one and get rid of his mana? If I would have played that um If I would have played that even mind sensor better he would be be pretty far behind here but I'm an idiot so 
There's a devoted druid. It's not what we want. Probably, Probably get in for one. one. So path is good. Play out. Do we care about Courser or do we want a Eternal Witness back? Engineered. Let's get Courser out. On his upkeep, let's path the Druid. We could also Eternal Witness back even Mind Sensor. We just don't have enough mana to play out both. Last turn we probably should have. All right, so with that being said, let's collect a company to get that in play. Eidolon and Knight. Play that off the top. Start swinging in here. So I feel good because doesn't have the mana to collect a company on our end step. So if he Cocos, well, if he Cocos and hits the hits the combo, he Cocos and hits the combo. I mean, we can't break it up at this point. Yeah, here's a Coco. Probably hits it. Noble's good. Oh, that's a whiff. That one's rough. Okay, Courser. Let's Eternal Witness back our Aven Mind Sensor and hope to fade one more turn here. I don't think holding night back matters so I don't think we're looking for any particular land although I guess we could no, let's just swing in here let's try to we, we got to try to close this game out so If he doesn't have another Coco, let's cross our fingers for no Coco. Because if he cords, he can't do it. Okay, there's a Druid. He can't cast anything else. See, in this situation, uh, it's probably better to get Engineered Explosives because he can only cast one a turn. Yeah, that was probably a mistake. So we even Mind Sensor him. He can't really search his deck. So we swing in with two, three, four, five. Do we swing in with the knight or do we try to draw something relevant? So he blocks here or he just takes it because he can. I think we're almost better off just drawing something relevant here. 
shuffling that bird away. We didn't play a land this turn. Oh, that was so stupid. Why did I get Haven Mind Sensor back? Uh, punt. Let's get a Horizon Canopy. that was a path to exile all right yep, he has it although he can make a ton of mana but he can't follow it up with anything That's something. Now, now he can. Now he can do it here. Yeah, he just has to hit a vizier. Wow. Did we just luck out? So let's Eldritch Evolution this Eternal Witness and get Linvala. Shuffle over that Bajuka Bog. Let's go ahead and get a forest. Play the land for turn. Um get out a tracker here. Two, three, four, swing in four, eight. So he probably has a path in hand. He would almost have to. Man, ah, oh, we caught there, guys. So everybody said that this matchup was atrocious. And we did get lucky with him not hitting things off of Coco. But sometimes, I mean, magic is luck. Man, did Linvala really come through there. That card has been incredible for me. I also love this Eldritch Evolution thing. Um, I might even like lean a little heavier into that. We'll have to find out. But I hope you guys enjoyed that game. That was so much fun. Um, definitely intense. And uh, hey, we got there. Green, white, value town. This is Pun Factor. Thank you, guys.